seventh, actually the eighth class of Midnight Rabbi with the Munna, in the seventh Pasha. And I welcome everyone. I welcome everyone to share their inspiration, their choices of Amuna that we spoke about in the previous class. And I was told I need to smile more. And I will, because it's true, it's a very important thing to do. I mean, I look up to in my own Rebbe, smiles, comes up to you in the most serious time of the year, Rosh Hashanah in the morning, and says to me, Laser, they know me as, you happy? You're happy, you're happy, he's smiling, he smiles, he's holding a safe tour before davening. He wants everyone to be happy. Happy. Happy Hanukkah. It's coming up. So I want to just tell a beautiful story that relates to the miracles that we've gone through. And my wife reminded me, Erev Shabbat, Erev Shabbos, um, the day before Shabbos, we are getting ready in the kitchen. I might even take you there in a minute. This kitchen, it came through miracles. I mean, this whole house, my life, you know, we were born through miracles, just being brought into this world as a miracle. Um, Rabbi Tatz, Dr. Tatz, if you ever listen to him, he, he was, you know, brought back to Amuna through just watching the unbelievable miracle of child labor. Uh, from, if you just analyze it, but for example, my own life is filled, 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 filled with miracles and since we're coming up to Hanukkah, a time where we thank Hashem for the miracles, really we should do that every day, that I want to tell you my story. So about our kitchen, that it came out like this. The, my wife um, was blessed. We moved into this house, this apartment in the hills of Yehuda. And we had to choose what we had to choose, you know, make the best. It's a nice place. It's not perfect. Hopefully one day we'll be able to paint it new and you know lots of things we'd like to do in the right time. We're very happy with it, but one thing was not really happy with was the kitchen. And it was 10 years old. The covers are falling apart. <clears throat> there was dirt all over the place that so you couldn't scrub out as much as you scrubbed. And it was a very small workspace. You could just about cook for your own family, let alone any guests. You like to have guests here and you're welcome to come visit. And we needed a miracle. Because I was in between jobs, I, you know, had a, I told you my gym one in the healthy living. You go look in that class, I think it's class four, about all the different jobs I had. So during that time, you know, we weren't in a situation where I could afford a kitchen. And truth is, probably now, even with a job, I can afford a kitchen. Just you know, in there as well. It's a different kind of, you know, you make you get by, but it's a bit of by, you know, to redo things, you need a little bit of a, a miracle or help or extra extra hand somewhere from Hashem. So now I knew that if we ask someone to come, a kitchen planner, to come into our house, then we've begun the process. And that's what I did. I told my wife, please bring a kitchen planner into our house as soon as you can and get a quote. We can't afford it. No, no, we can't. I don't want to have that let down. And he tells me all these prices and there's no way we can do it. My wife was saying, I was saying, no, you have to start the process. You have to do the pu'ula, the first action, to open the doors for the miracle to take place. An important principle with shtadlis and panasa and being able to pull good things but bring out good positive realities. You have to do the big action. Go ahead, as if you can do it somehow. So the kitchen planner came, very nice guy, and he said it's around, you know, close to around 30,000 shekels, maybe more. I remember exactly the amount, and there was no way, you know, that it was in between jobs, it just wasn't happening. Anyway, so it came close to Purim, and it was Arab Shabbos again, before Shabbat, and we were lighting the candles, just right here, and I said to my wife, I said, look, I've written a letter to a friend, you know, I want you to help me make sure it's correct, and before you light the candles, we'll say a little prayer, then maybe, you know, there'll be some positive reaction. And what the letter wrote was, the way it was written, please, my friend, we knew he'd helped us in the past, he's a very successful person, he will remain anonymous, um, could you please help us borrow a certain amount of money so we could do some things in our house, like one of them is the kitchen, and just things that I can't afford, and it needs to be done, you know, for functionality and, and, and health, I mean, it wasn't even healthy, the kitchen, it was... 
lots of reasons. And the person responded, as my wife went to go lie, I got the email just before I turned off my phone for Shabbat. And it said, not only am I willing to help you, I'm willing you to give you the money. You don't have to give me a little, little, little bit less than the full amount that was needed, but it, was, it, would, it would cover that amount. I'm very excited. I can't believe it, miracle. Pastor's Truma, when you build the Mishkan. I was so excited. My wife lit candles. Everything was very inspiring, my friend. Anyway, so guess what happened? Sends the money, and the bank made a mistake, and they didn't know where it was, and we tried to trace it this way, that way. We even had to ask, had to make that difficult phone call after a week or two to my friend who just lost you know, a relative, and it was very hard. And I had to ask him, you know, the mommy don't know where the money is. And he kindly said, he'll make another inquiry, and that even cost him a bit more money. And he did it. He was a test, another test for him, one, to give the money. Secondly, now I'm saying I can't even find it. And he still went ahead and looked for it. It was amazing. In the meanwhile, the payments needed to be done. It was coming close to Pesach. It was after Purim. And we wanted it done by Pesach. Passover. So what happened? I phoned up another person. I said, we really need to make a payment. And then the person, you know, the money come, but we don't know where it is. So another person decided to give us a little bit more. And we were able to make that payment. And not only that, we realized that we were, we were going to be a little bit under. So now we had everything we needed and a little bit more even to just do a few more little things around the house and cover some other costs. So one miracle led to another miracle. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't feeling great when I didn't know where the money was. But in the end, not only did we have the kitchen finished by Pesach, we paid everything, had a few little things done in the meanwhile. And a difficult time, and I, once again, I was in between jobs, it's, you know, a difficult time period that also cushioned that time period as well. So it was a miracle. And all it needed was us to believe. And that was the big thing that my wife wanted to mention, that before we found the money, because once again, we couldn't find it for a while, my wife said, I can have this. No, I can God, Hashem, He can do good for us. And I am allowed to have this. This is something someone is willing to part with and give to us this amount of money. And I can have this kitchen. I can use it. And she did. And she believed it with her whole heart. And that was when finally... I made the call and I made a certain inquiry. It was more in, inside information for the bank. And they said, oh, look at where it is. It's been here the whole time. We just didn't know. And there it was after a few weeks of looking and making inquiries with all the tracking information. We found it. But it was all to do with my wife believing she can have it. And that's also a very important part of the miracles. You have to believe that Hashem is good and wants to do good. And you can have the good. It can be good for you. And that's Amuna. Amuna brings out that brings forth a healthy. Now I just want to quickly show you the kitchen. Last few minutes is a bit of a long one. It's special precious. Right now Vietza Yaakov is busy finding his wife and building his family. So just quickly show you the kitchen, this miracle kitchen. This is all the new cupboards and the nice sinks. And we've had you know, used it for Pesach. It was kosher fully. We didn't have to do all the extra work of kosher in a new kitchen. It was already kosher, kashering, and then even the cupboards are very nice. Pull them open, uh, and they slide closed. And there's some other cupboards over here. And it's, it's just amazing for us. We couldn't have afforded any of this. We even got a cupboard right here. This is a whole new cupboard that keeps everything thing. And there's other stories with the have a little gym going on here that we also have another miracle story. Anyway, without getting into everything in one go, should be blessed with Amuna and please share your great stories. Thank you for listening.